안녕하세요, 저는 오키입니다, and welcome to today's video where we are going to be reacting to Purple Kiss's brand new comeback titled Nerdy, and uh, we've also got the intro Bye Bye Bully from their brand new EP titled Geeky Land. Now, bro, I am mega fucking excited. I was meant to watch this literally an hour ago, but my internet has been an absolute massive Purple Kiss hater, and also an LKTV hater, because I have not been able to do shit, so... Anyway, I'm very excited to finally get around to this one with you guys, um, and uh, yeah, just see what this one's going to be like. Now, as this I have done with all teasers, Purple Kiss related, ever since Zombie Era, because I completely even kept away from them, I kept away from Mem Mem, I've also kept away from Nerdy, um, and I'm honestly really excited to see what this one's going to be like, because, I mean, I think... So far, Mem Mem is the first song from Purple Kiss, the first title, I think, that didn't really stick around that much for me. Zombie, still, I think, is the one to beat. I mean, I honestly think that Ponzonia was an incredible debut from them, and I'm never, ever, ever going to underplay that. But I really do think that uh, Mem Mem just wasn't necessarily... Um, something that stuck around for me. I actually thought that it would be. I thought that, you know, because it sounded a lot harder, we had that anti-drop in there, and then we also had a lot more, um, you know, uh, how can I put it? We had a lot more of like that industrial type sound, which is one that I personally absolutely adore. I don't know why, but there was just something that didn't necessarily hit for me. Maybe it was just the timing. I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with Nerdy, because I do know that they happen to change their styles quite a lot. They are an extremely versatile group. They um, have incredible talent as well. Like, you know, honestly, with, like, just RBW at the helm, I really don't think that they could ever go wrong. But very excited to see what this and, of course, Geeky Land sound like. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Alright, and we're back. So basically, man, like I was saying earlier, we will be listening to uh, Geeky Land straight after this, and I'll be listening to Geeky Land over on Patreon. So over here on Twitch first, and then it'll be posted over on Patreon later on tonight. So do feel free, of course, to go and check that out if you guys would like to go and listen to the album B-Sides with me and obviously hear what I have to say about that. Um, I think, likewise, considering Mem Mem, I did actually enjoy the album a lot more. There was, I, th I think, like an interesting variety of sounds too. So I like once again just want to reiterate i'm interested to hear what geeky land is going to be like i'm not entirely sure um whether or not it's going to like i don't know necessarily stick around with zombie era as much for me because so far that's my favorite era from them i think that like the b-sides just on hide and seek in general uh, and also just on top of that like the actual whole concept that they went for that comeback is personally one of my favorites um but yeah very keen to see what this one's going to be like so without any further ado we have got purple kisses nerdy envy and then we'll segue straight into bye bye bully straight afterwards massive old like full screen three two one let's go you cute so cute me uh 480p are you fucking kidding me Oh my god. That's us. Going crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, TD. Okay. Oh, this bass is getting me already. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Bum, 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 bum. Ah. Uh. Guess who indeed? This reminds me of something. I think it's just the baseline. Oh, what does it remind me of? Does it actually remind me of them? Oh, Doshi, holy shit! Oh, hey, hey. So they're referencing their B side in, uh, so the intro in. Okay. Ah. Uh. Hey, hey. Ah. Oh. 
the word off. Dude, I love Rocky so much, bro. Her rap is insane. I've actually realized her and Hikaru, when they hit that, sound the same, actually. Super so what up? Hey, hey. Love the message this song's putting out, bro. I think you can uh, really trust Perky with social commentary. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Bye. Ah! Oh! Click! Ah! Oh, shit! Uh. No, okay. The bass reminds me of something else. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, shit! Dude, bring the strings out. Oh! Dude, I love their drops lately too, though. You know, this hits way more for me than Mem Mem, bro. Ah, hey, ah. I love that. Dude, I I really like that. I really oh hip, it's hip. Yes. It's hip. Oh dude, I love the nerdy in the sign at the end. It's hip, yeah. It really the bass line reminds me a fuck ton of hip by Mama Moo. A fuck ton of what well, RBW artists. It it makes perfect sense. Dude, um that definitely hit way more for me, man. And I mean, I think it just hit for me more because the song, it was doing a lot, but it didn't sound like it was trying to do too much. But also at the same time, it fits them so well. I feel like with this, like, you make me cool. Like with that, like, that, that, um, almost like haunting, ghastly type, ghastly, probably not the word, but that haunting type way that they like sing those notes, those area breathier notes also just the register that they kind of sing in too it reminds me a lot of just them in general i feel like we did we we heard this um back in mem mem too like you know swan swan's like you know um her solo part that she obviously comes out with too like i feel like they are able to go crazy vocally and also on top of that they're really really good at like stylizing their vocals i don't know if that makes any sense or if anyone's able to like kind of get what I mean because I'm sometimes really bad at expressing myself in musical terms but um basically I love how like vocally they've got a very very specific sound already and I absolutely adore that I think that it works with this so well but also on top of that I love that they are becoming renowned for breakdowns so really really good breakdowns at that and also on top of that fire rap verses I absolutely love Yuki coming through, like, I'm queen of the nerds, absolutely adore that. I think just the concept in general, it being a lot more, um, I don't know, kind of like spooky, takes me back a little bit to like Ponzonia era, so it takes me back to that a little bit, although I know that it's not like directly referencing it, it's just something that I feel like already with Purple Kiss is a little bit nostalgic, so I absolutely adore that. And I think just overall, the song hits just generally a lot more for me. I think, um, there were a lot of things that I was focusing on at different parts, like there were like the breaks came in at two completely different times. Like we had the rap break, uh, the rap break, break. Wow, the rap break obviously slow things down and kind of like throw us into a new vibe. And then we got brought back in, and then we had like those strings in like that that instrumental break. So we literally got like a rap break, we got an instrumental break, and then we got you know, just everything else padded around it, which sounded absolutely amazing. But I really do think that I need to listen to it again, uh, because there's, I, I think, a lot of stuff that I actually missed. And also, just on top of that, I think the hook and the chorus is really, really, really catchy already, too. Okay, I'm nerdy. Dun, 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 dun. I just really, really, really love the hook. I love the melody. I think it's great. But let's go ahead and re-listen to it again in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Ah. Oh. Dude, this was so much, like, honestly, let me just say this. I'm not about to go ahead and shit on Mem Mem because I'm not like that. And also on top of that, I do actually think that it's a good song. 
The only issue that I have with Mem Mem is just that rather instead, just in case anyone happens to be confused or in case we've got like any devout Mem Mem defenders out there, the only thing that I had a problem with with, Mem with Mem Mem was that I couldn't listen to it uh, as much as I wanted to just because I never was really vibing it like in the variety of situations and just in general when I wanted to, if that makes sense. Like, I'm very weird with the way that I listen to music or rather just at least specific to me. Like, I like to be able to imagine like situations or scenarios where I'm going to listen to a song when I first listen to it. And like, if I revisit it and I can't like imagine, oh yeah, I'll listen to this when I'm editing or I'll listen to this when I'm in the car or like when I'm going on a drive or I'm doing this or when I'm sad or, or something like that, then it, be it becomes very... Uh, difficult for me to be able to I think like justify putting a song on my playlist or rather just actively going and listening to it and I think that Mem Mem was just one that like hit in a in, 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 in a few specific like situations where I was like oh yeah maybe when I'm like wanting to turn up or listen to something that's like instrumentally a little bit more weird then I'll go for something like that but in general I think that around that time I just really wasn't listening to that all that much like I wasn't listening to that type of sound all that much so that's really when I say I have an issue with Mem Mem that's really it I didn't think it was a bad song it just personally didn't stick around for me. That thing said, though, the thing is with Nerdy is I can already kind of see when I'm going to listen to this, and it's just literally in general. It will be, I can listen to this whenever I want to just listen to Purple Kiss's music. It will be, I can listen to this whenever I want to listen to something that's a little bit quirky instrumentally. Say, anytime I wanted to listen to Mamma Moo's hip, this is it, because essentially the beat sounds very similar. And then also on top of that, I feel like this is just going to be good to listen to in general, whether you just... I don't know, are looking for some music or it comes on shuffle or, you know, you go ahead and you put it on while you're driving or something like that. I really just feel like it's going to be, you know, one of those types of songs where I can put on there. But anyway, let's get straight back into it in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. I just feel that that's necessary for me to say because I really did enjoy Mem Mem. I just didn't listen to it as much as their other titles. This, this dark bass. Is it just bass? No. I love. Dude, Colin looks so good in the Balenciaga. Uh, uh. Also, the message, I really don't feel like it's anything to break down because it's really straightforward. Somewhere between E and I. Uh, I just love how it's got a positive, positive message. Packaged in a fire song. Ah. Uh, dude, Toshi. Toshi is so crazy. Okay, I'm nerdy. Uh, uh. Embrace your inner nerds, yo. For real. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Dude, I am afraid to say it. Uh, the nerds are. Uh, I'm afraid to say it, but I think Toshi reckoned me real bad. Indeed, bro. Who gives a shit what you think? Who cares? Not me. No one. Mm, the la 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 la. Hey, hey. Man, speaking of Doji, her fit crazy. Ah, ah. Da, 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 da. Bye. Ah, dude, I have to say, I really, really, really enjoy when you like think that they're gonna be like bully, bully, bye. But instead, bully, bully, kick and bass. And then the way that this comes right down i think um as well fuck this beat like even just this bit too what does it remind me of oh there's a song it reminds me of do, 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 do. like that really like muffled deep bass oh like what is uh, can anyone remember can bass. like like what does this remind me of 
There's a there's a song that this reminds me of, and I'm drawing a blank right now. Da, uh, is it even? Maybe Tomboy? Bad guy Billie Eilish to an extent. Do Tomboy to an extent as well? Tomboy to an extent too. Yeah, Tomboy Bridge. That's what I'm getting. You make me Yeah, performance the stages would be sick. Kick. Like that dance with me. Like the way that they the way that they like enunciate their words. Like it's so like th their styles, the way that they sing, the like ugh, the way that they put this out, bro, it's their signature. I fucking love it. I love it. Kick. All about me. All about me. Mmm. And I love how we go straight in to an instrumental solo and it just works so well. It doesn't feel hollow. It doesn't lose its tension. Dude. They look as amazing as ever too. Oh, he getting it. Ooh. God getting it. Nah, bro, Doshi, you wrong for that. She, she is wrong. She, bro, she is so wrong for that, bro. Look at her. One eye closed. You don't, you, I will never miss, I will never, I will never miss the winks, bro. You are so wrong for that, bro. I swear. Ah. Nah, okay, hang on. Bro, I'm so sorry. Hang on, bro. Dude. Che, we gotta chill, bro. Look at her. Look at her real quick. Ah, I, I'm sorry. Fan cams of this are gonna be so wild. Okay, again, you were wrong for it. I love it, bro. It just fits them way better. Or rather, should I say instead, it fits them extremely well. Um, I think with Purple Kiss as well, if we just want to delve even deeper and we just want to like kind of look beyond just the general beat and we want to look beyond the concept and just the comeback, I do love the fact that like a lot of their songs, and this is just in general too, I think a lot of their songs and just them as artists can be trusted with social commentary. I think um, it's... Just one of those types of things where, I mean, you don't even need to necessarily, like, have artists that have, you know, extremely, um, oh, how can I put it, extremely edgy social commentary or anything like that. But I love, like, how when Purple Kiss do it, they do it well. And it's just really simple and it's straightforward. It's not, like, cringe. It's not, um, it, it never feels like they do it just for the sake of doing it, too. Like, if that makes sense. Like, you know, when they lean into, like, exactly, they like, this weird type of like sound this sound that they're very comfortable and very confident with but also on top of that when they like uh really just kind of embrace their inner emotions and write that into their music and you know talk about you being yourself and you just kind of embracing that weird side of you just like they do especially with their music i feel like they just resonate so easily with people and that's one of the things that i really enjoy about them i think that um they resonate very well with me just in general maybe that's part of the reason maybe that i had a problem with mem mem or that um i didn't listen to it as much maybe it just didn't necessarily resonate with me and i mean it was packed with lore and all of that other type of stuff for them too but um yeah i think that nerdy just has a really simple yet a really fun message at the same time too and one that's obviously just of course about loving yourself and you know okay cool like who's this okay i'm the queen of the nerds like cool i am still a queen nonetheless but i am queen of the nerds and you ain't gonna fucking change shit who cares what you think and i, I really enjoy um the fact that they have so much fun obviously doing that too 
Uh, I really cannot wait to see the performance version of this. And of course the stages too. I think the stages uh, will always be fire because Purple Kiss, honestly, when they perform, I think is when they really shine. Like, of course, as um, artists, when we hear just them recorded, I think that they sound absolutely incredible. But I think that where they shine most is on stage where uh, you obviously get to hear their live vocals. And of course you get to see their performances too because they are absolutely freaking insane but anyway let's go ahead and get straight into bye bye bully because they've obviously referenced this already too so i'm very interested and excited to see what this is going to be like in three two one let's go oh shit okay we're getting kind of weird again i'm really excited for this album oh damn oh damn Okay, they losing their minds with it. Have you got no shame? Have you got no shame? Ugh. You me cry. You me cry. Dude, they're brilliant at this. Fucking... Fucking relax, please. I... Please, relax. For two seconds, can you just chill? For two seconds. Like, literally... Why is it that regardless of when you appear on screen, you just go insane, bro? Chill. I, like, I want to watch. Relax. Toshi is crazy. Oh, gives me goosebumps, bro. She's so good with, like, just the way that she expresses herself in her face, man. Ugh. Hey, hey. I love these outfits they're into. They fit this concept so well. Like this this sound. Bye bye bully. You know why we saying bye bye? Not cause you're getting out of their life, because we're killing you. You're dead. You're dead. You ain't surviving that. They're not letting you out. You bully them? Sorry, you're dead. You're gone. Uh, they will they will fuck you up respectfully. That's crazy. Um, yeah, look. I have to say about this comeback just in general, very impressed. I'm more excited at this point, though, for Geeky Land as an album. Uh, I think that with Purple Kiss, one thing that I've come to really appreciate about them, and this is... This might even be a little bit... Uh, I mean, actually, no. I don't even think that this would be controversial. I think that people, some people will understand this and maybe some people are in the same boat. But the way that I view them is I love their titles, but I love their B-sides way more. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. I don't think that there are many groups where I could, like, sit down and say that for as well. Like, I think that there's a couple um, that I can think of off the top of my head just in general right now, but... I actually think with Purple Kiss, whilst I enjoy their titles, their B-sides, just in general, I love an absolutely wild amount more. And I'm mega, mega, mega pumped, especially if we're hearing this, if we're hearing Nerdy and we've got Bye Bye Bully so far, I'm really excited to see what, their, what the rest of their B-sides on this album are going to sound like. And uh, I cannot wait. So I'm really, really, really pumped. Of course, if you guys want to catch that, then do feel free, of course, to go on over to Patreon and give that guys a, give that a look tonight, guys. Of course, if you would like. Uh, I really just want to say thank you, though, for tuning in, as always. I'm very excited to hear uh, what your thoughts were. Just on, I mean, not even just on Nerdy, but also Bye Bye Bully down in the comments below as well. Uh, it's obviously a very different kind of era for them compared to Mem Mem. And uh, I'm very very interested to see not only just where they go with this album but where they continue to go in future too because i think as well too like purple kiss so far i think have largely done um sounds that they're very like comfy with if that makes sense and i'm not saying that that's a bad thing either actually i just think that like so far everything that they have put out so far I think works so perfectly with their brand. They're weird. They love to embrace that. They are very confident with that. But I'm also excited to see how that evolves. Like I'm really excited to see what that evolves into and goes beyond just what we've got right now. Because what we've got right now is very niche. It's really, really, really fun with the way that they present themselves. And I mean, of course, when they drop like um, Halloween covers, when they drop 
um, all of that type of stuff, I think that we get even more of an insight into like, you know, what type of group they are, especially in what they can do, like, you know, with, um, uh, you know, like that much like darker type of like more horror type concept as well when they do decide to dabble with that. But I'm very excited to see how this bleeds into other genres as well, the way that they try and like incorporate other genres into their sound and mix that, but also on top of that, how they evolve it and what the next step up from this uh, this current sound that they've got is whilst also maintaining it. Cause I don't, I really don't think that they will ever just like completely 180 and just be like, yeah, we're a completely different type of group now. We've abandoned this sound or whatever. I'm just very excited to see how that evolves. And I really cannot wait to, of course, keep watching them with you guys. So look, thank you so much for tuning in. Love and appreciate you guys as always. I uh, am very pumped to see what Geeky Land sounds like. And I'm going to go and check that out right now. But until next time, take care of yourselves out there. Stay safe. Of course, if you enjoyed the reaction, you'd like to stick around for some more Purple Kiss as well, then do feel free, of course, to subscribe to the channel too. But until next time, take care. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.